never been left empty-handed when I nurtured that clarity of focus. Clarity of focus leads to accuracy of the response. All the way down to know why you're talking to this person. So get very, very clear as to hearing and responding so that you're very present and authentic in every moment. So you don't lay awake at night and say, why did I say that as I did, or why didn't I do that? If you have that feeling when you're alert, clarity of focus will lead you to the accuracy of response. As I do many times, I'll go up to my husband and say, I'm sorry. That was rude, and my ego got in the way. And I just want to own that. I had the most amazing interview. One of my recent shower epiphanies happened six months ago, and all I heard was, this, was the line of it. All I heard was a conqueror's mindset. Ignite people's belief in the possible. Didn't know how it was going to manifest, didn't know the details, but I heard it. And I started to respond. And, it's, and it is expanding quickly. And one of the interviews that I did recently was with a man named Gary Weinstein, after this interview with Gary Weinstein, and he shared his story of how a drunk driver who happened to be a neighbor of his hit and killed his wife and two children, nine and 12 years old. Unfathomable to me, a mother of, of three teenagers, who every time they walk out the door with their keys, I hit my knees and say, sweet Jesus, Protect them from those people out there that perhaps have fallen asleep or in, or in a state of amnesia and forgetting who they are at that time. I said to Gary, I said, Gary, in, in this interview, I said, I have got to be ruthlessly honest with you. I have no clue how you did this and where you are today. He goes, Warren, three things, three things. One, take full ownership for everything in your life. That will take care of blaming and complaining. Full ownership. And this will help you to sleep better at night so you're not, why did they say that to me like that? I think they don't like me. The other day I was bumped by something and I was again talking to God and it's like he thumped me on the head and said, hey, I heard this as clear as day. Just so you know, you're not here to be liked. You're not here to be liked. You're here to grow in your ability to love. That's it. I know this to be true. I've been graced with two out-of-body experiences when I had a heart attack in the midst of the chemo. And I saw everybody working on me, and I, and I had the resurrection within me of my mindset of remembering what's essential on the deathbed. There is nothing like living from your deathbed back in life. What do you want people to say about you? It's not going to be what you have. I'm just telling you. It's not going to be your, your accolades, what people think, the acknowledgments, the recognitions. I can speak so clearly about this, people, because I've been drugged by the drug of approval. I've been there and done that. People say, well, how did you get in that magazine? I had, I had an interview with Oprah Magazine a month ago. And it was like an hour interview. And I got off the phone. And I said to myself, forget about it. Forget about that. And then somebody called me again and said, hey, you just had this interview. Uh, you know, what, what do you think of that? I said, it was an interview. Yes, it was with O Magazine. How many times do you have to be slapped around to say, this is the second point that Gary made. You are not your circumstance. He said, when the doctor came out of that room and looked me in the eye and said, nobody made it. Nobody made it. At which point I thought I was going to break down thinking of myself in that situation. And he said, you mean nobody? And the doctor said, no. No, I made it. I said, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? He said, Lauren, I went home and I looked in the mirror. And I said to myself, you are not your circumstances. You are not the opinions of other people, the responses of the world around you, the Oprah Magazine interviews. You are not 
the, the times when somebody cuts you down, or how many of you have gotten <coughs> famous Twitters? Somebody's saying something bad about you on this Twitter line. <laughs> I said, that's masterful marketing. I said, this person's totally into our weakness. Slice the head off the dragon. This is, this is literally a serpent. Clearly, this is a serpent. The drug of approval. These antics people will dilute your authenticity in this world as well as propelling you into manifesting. When you hear those divine downloads, next project, do this, go there. When you live in that space, there is no room for fear. As Gary said, you are not your circumstances or the compliments. This is another prayer that I'll pray. Dear God, protect me from compliments and complaints so that my heart will stay grounded in the mission for which it beats. Protect me from compliments and complaints so that my heart will stay grounded in the mission for which it beats. In that space, people, all things are possible. Even moving through the death of your wife and two children. As, as Gary says, the human spirit has unlimited elasticity. I, I, get, I get chills, chills of the spirit when I say that. Unlimited people, this is huge. I invite you to practice expanding your clarity of focus. Your accuracy of response will take flight in this world. 